Hi, it's Andy here at Photek Video. A few weeks ago, I was lucky enough to pay a short visit to Hong Kong, and I stayed in the vibrant area of Mong Kok. I had with me my Sony APS-C mirrorless ZV-E10 camera, and the kit lens which came with it, the 16 to 50 millimeter f3.5 to f5.6. So of course I couldn't miss the chance to test the capability and image quality which this camera lens combination can produce. And where better to test it than in such a fascinating and interesting city like Hong Kong. In this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite camera settings for this camera lens combination for street photography, and also include a number of images taken on this camera lens combination using these settings. So Hong Kong was absolutely amazing. And I really enjoyed shooting these images of the everyday scenes there, which are so different from what I am used to seeing. The Sony ZV-E10 APS-C mirrorless camera is an excellent entry-level camera. And the 16 to 50 millimeter f3.5 to f5.6 kit lens, which came with it, is extremely compact and versatile and in my opinion is extremely useful for street photography. I generally set my aperture to f8 or higher when shooting in the street to help focusing and give in focus depth of field. Setting your aperture to f8 on this kit lens means that the aperture remains fixed and will not change even if you need to zoom in. It also means that you can reduce the amount of light entering into the camera's sensor. On bright days, I set my ISO values to the lowest possible, which in the ZV-E10, depending on the program which you are using, can be 50 or 100. I then vary my shutter speed to get the correct exposure. Remember, the faster your shutter speed, the less light it is going to hit your sensor. So if we set our aperture to f8, our ISO value to 50 or 100, and vary our shutter speed to get a correct exposure, we should always have enough light on a bright day to get images without camera shake blur. If you find that the shutter speed is too slow to get an image without camera shake blur, all you need to do is increase the ISO value until you can push your shutter speed up to a speed which does not give you camera shake blur. Generally, handheld, I can keep my camera still at shutter speeds of 1 60th of a second and over. But of course, it also depends on whether your subject is still or moving. So, all the photos in this video were taken on the Sony ZV-E10 APS-C mirrorless camera combined with the 16 to 50 millimeter f3.5 to f5.6 Sony kit lens. Some of them were taken in full manual exposure mode and others in aperture priority mode. All of the images are straight out of camera JPEGs with white borders added. So, let's take a look at the results.
So there you have it. What an absolutely beautiful and amazing city. I hope you liked some of the images which I took there. All in all, I'm very happy with the results of my Sony ZV-E10 APS-C mirrorless camera, coupled with the 16 to 50 millimeter f3.5 to f5.6 kit lens. It's a compact and lightweight setup, which means that it is easy to travel with, at the same time as giving you full creative choices for your images. If you click on the video above, you'll be able to see one of my videos where I tested the Sony ZV-E10 with the same kit lens in low light situations at a famous night street market in Taipei, Taiwan. Please leave any comments that you may have in the comment section down below. Remember that interacting with a channel on YouTube with comments, likes, share and subscribing to it is completely free and it really helps the channel to grow. So if you found this video interesting and you like this kind of content, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel and ring on that notification bell to be notified every time a new video drops on my channel. So until the next time, this is Andy at Photek Video signing off. Take care and be safe.